Good morning, day 161, and we are up and ready, just waiting for it to be light enough so that we can start walking across Linton Station. There's Judy, we've packed up in the dark. <laughs> We're ready, busting to go. Okay, this is the sign before we go in. It's private land access courtesy of Mount Linton Station. This is supposed to be the biggest station in New Zealand. Oh, is it Birchwood is? Oh, okay. Oh, we, oh, okay. It might be Birchwood. We do two farm stations in a row. Right. And this one's going to take eight to nine hours to, to walk across. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Well, we'll do our good morning as soon as it gets light. Okay, good morning, day 161, and it's light enough, so we thought we'd say good morning. <laughs> so we're not getting daylight at the moment till about 8 o'clock. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's really bizarre. It's the daylight saving, it changes shortly, but yeah. um, yes, it's um, really, really waiting for the daylight to turn up. Yeah. But we are now on Mount Linton Station. We'll yes. spend most of the day walking here. We're doing about 28 kilometres today, the majority on Mount Linton Station which is a large working farm, it's yeah, a sheep know. station. Yeah, we don't we... know if this is the biggest or if Birch was the biggest, but we'll get back one to One of you. them is the biggest. <laughs> well, we don't have time to go through all our notes and find out which one is. Yeah. Um, and it's a sheep station, but we wouldn't be surprised if we see cattle as well. Yeah. And tonight we actually stay at the Birchwood Cabin, which is then the start of the next station. So there's a privately owned cabin that we can stay at, um, so they a couple of kilometres, so about 28 in total today. Yeah, and at the cabin, Birchwood, they provide pizza. Yes. So we're gonna have, and we're taking, we're gonna get two, so we've got one for the next day. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Okay, so the start of our walking day, now that we can see. Stream crossing to do straight away. Sunrise coming up. This is quite an impressive station. Let's see how long they stay before they fly off. Yeah. I suppose they're just being sensible. We have come from there and our journey continues along here and there are some sheep here's an animal that keeps making this noise and I think it's a deer like a mating call or something let's see if it does it again Walking through Linton, Mount Linton Station, it's just proving to be a really lovely walk because it's relatively easy track and wide open spaces and hills all around you. And uh, it's a lovely temperature, it's crisp, it's not too hot. Um, yeah, it's just, just really pleasant. A bit of a kind of <laughs> Nice pleasant day before we tackle the Longwoods shortly and we've discovered that um, uh, there's a bit of rain coming <laughs> just to make it that little bit more challenging. And uh, when I talked about that animal noise, it wasn't the noise of the sheep I was referring to. There was an animal up in the trees making a really weird noise. And I don't think it's cattle, I do think it's a deer. But of course, you can't see it. Anyway, um, yeah, as I say, lovely day. We've got another 
I've got another just under 19 kilometers to do. So, bring it on. They're actually rounding up the sheep. Those sheep are all following each other in lines. They're being rounded up. I've never seen that. One after another. And the farmer is coming along in a vehicle, but there must be some dogs somewhere. Yeah, look at this, <laughs> it's all sheep dots. They have got at least five dogs. And maybe we need to stand here, Judy, and let them finish. Yeah. <laughs> that is fascinating. Stragglers being sent up, yeah. up the hill. The dogs are so excited. Always a runaway. So yeah. Away to the right. Yeah, and but there's a dog right behind the runaway. Whereas there, yeah. one sheep up there that didn't get rounded up probably thinks well, I'm free but then it's also on his own they'll come back to you I think <laughs> that's where we've come from and where are we going to sheep on the trail Let's see how quickly they notice us and then run off. First one that's just noticed us stood up. And yep, I think he's saying, come on folks, out of here. Zoom in on that face. Looking at you, Judy. <laughs> what a lovely valley. And just keeps continuing. We are stopping here to have lunch and look at our view. And for my lunch, I'm having white Costello double cream brie with crackers. And I've been carrying that cheese for four days now. It's a bit pongy, wonderful. <laughs> and Judy's grimacing, but she... <laughs> but you're also having cheese. Yeah, I'm having yeah. cheese. It's now yep. Costo and cheese, yep. and the cheese is now several days old. Oh, yeah. So I have evolved a bit on eating old cheese. <laughs> Lovely. Well, bon appetit. Mm. Mm, yum. After having had lunch, we now have to go up that hill, which doesn't look like much of a hill from here, but yeah, it is. Well, we climbed from the bottom down there all the way along this fence line, and it is steep. 
but it's over. And there are only a couple more like that today. And what have we got over here? Yep. movies when people are standing there they hear a noise and they're standing there like gormless idiots and suddenly this great big monster comes out and eats them <laughs> people calling you saying come on come visit yeah no thanks no, no forest camping tonight that is definitely deer i think well let's, it's, let's we're gonna check out some noises yeah we'll google, google deer noises and see but they they're like that. And then what, what, are they just talking to each other or are they like angry with each other or are they mating? Yeah, I wouldn't like to be walking in there. No, I'm happy to be out on this lovely open pasture. Well, leaving the uh, spooky forest, and look at that. We've actually got full reception now. <laughs> so Judith's texting. <laughs> Open space, preferably up, and with a view. It really is my favorite type of walking. Love it. There's the spooky forest. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at sheep. What a beautiful home you have. We are making our way down now. Um, look, you can see they've cut down all the forest. Looks totally different to the forest. Okay, we've got to go down there and then we've got to go <laughs> up there and up there and then I'm not sure where it's going but I think Oh, I hope it's not going into the forest. <laughs> oh dear. I guess we're going to find out. Well, we've got to the top. And let's hope that the trail doesn't go into the forest. But then again, because of that deforestation, if there were any deer in there, they would have gone to that big forest I was filming. And maybe that's why it's so noisy, because we were fighting over territory. I still don't want to go in there though. <laughs> I've completely freaked myself out. It's so ridiculous. Oh, it's getting pretty close to the forest. <laughs> we yeah, are walking alongside the forest. Very good. We are going to be going over those two 
bumps there, then across and over. But we're not going in the forest, so all good. Look at that, little bit of an obstruction to the pathway. See, they like lying there because it's nice and flat. And it's probably greener as well, it captures all the water. Yeah. Let's see what they do. Okay, uh, we're not actually going up there. We're going through the cows down here. I think they're cows. She's a cow. Yep. Are they bulls? Yep, no, they're cows. Good. <laughs> Judy's uh, right next to me. <laughs> they're cows, yeah, not bulls. They're cow yes, they're cows. And now we're in front of the orange post. Yes, they were. That's why we couldn't see it. Now we can. Have a lovely afternoon, ladies. Lovely meeting you. Oh, thanks. Is that what you think of me? Yes, it's very broken. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Judy. <laughs> we have come from the forest right at the back there, all the way down here, around this forest, up here, and we've got a little bit more climbing to do, and then it's all down to Birchwood. Hello. We're just coming through. It's okay. Alright. Oh. Okay, so I'm still going up. We're gonna have a quick break to get the packs off our backs. Oh. Six and a half kilometers to get to the road. Excluding breaks, we have been walking on this Mount Winton station for seven hours. And it probably will take us another hour to get down to the road that is officially off the um, Mount Linton station. So yeah, it's taking its time. What a property. <laughs> it takes a whole day to walk through. <coughs> We have come down that side forest then all the way down here. And then I'll continue on. Yeah. Gravel road so the pace will be better, but we're still not off the Linton property. Got another three kilometers. Look at those neat fields with all those round bales of hay. Now, there's a joke about those round bales of hay, <laughs> but it rather belongs to someone else, <laughs> so I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> We're nearly there, over this little bridge, 200 metres to the road, and then two kilometres to where we're staying. This is where we're staying. Where that chimney is. Okay. Birchwood Station. This is where we are staying. Okay. Bunk room. Lots of beds. Shower, all kitchen, kettle, table, chairs, lovely. Okay, brilliant. Part of being here too is um, they actually do pizzas. <clears throat> so both Judy and I have had a supreme pizza and then we're also cooking one for tomorrow <laughs> because we're having to make our food stretch because we only had five days worth of food and it needs to last us a week. But um, yeah, anyway, okay, 
So the pizza's good. <laughs> good night, Julie. Good, good night. <laughs> You're cocooned. We sit for a cold night. It is cold night. It yeah. is a cold night already. Yeah. You know, it's dropping down to four or five degrees, so I'm all set for it. <laughs> yeah, and we're happy that we're not camping, aren't we? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be sleeping over there. Okay. So it's good night from both of us. <laughs>